we are going to make a flower, a rose. Inflate the first balloon leaving about 4 inch flat tail. One of my online friends found a picture of beautiful rose and uh, asked me if I know how this particular sculpture was done. The follow on video instruction is my answer on how it could be done with use of 260s balloons. Ok, let's twist a chain of the first two soft 1 inch bubbles. Make sure both bubbles are very soft. We are going to lock all ends of the first two bubbles in one lock twist to make the first two petals. I believe in uh, the original sculpture the artist used uh, 160s balloons to make it. I have to admit that um, flower made with 160s looks very adorable. However, I use only 260s to make all my instructions and um, that is what we are going to work with anyway. <laughs> Back to our sculpture. Let's lock all ends of the first two bubbles in one lock twist. Let's fix the first two bubbles in criss-cross position to each other. We have made the first row of two petals. We have to twist a small soft uh, bubble between each row. So here it is. Twist the third very soft about a quarter of inch bubble. The next three bubbles we are going to twist to make the three petals of the second row. Squeeze the rest of the balloon to make it soft. This way from about three inch flat tail we will make about one inch flat tail. The next three uh, bubbles we twist of the same about ten inch size. Just make sure to leave about five inch bubble at the end of the balloon. So here I twist the fourth ten inch bubble. I make all bubbles soft for this sculpture. Measure the size of the fifth bubble and twist it. Lock both ends of the chain of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. Measure the size of the sixth bubble and twist it. Lock the free end of the sixth bubble between the fourth and the fifth bubbles. Basically we made the bird body fold. We use it to make bird body, hats, and many other things. Lock all ends of the last three bubbles in one lock twist. We have made petals of the second row. Fix all bubbles in proper positions. Here's a top view and here's a side view. Our next step is to wave the last three bubbles. I have described uh, waving technique in a previously published instruction flower six, six petals. You very welcome to look up in mention instruction if you have any trouble to follow me here. As you may notice I wave bubbles in counterclock direction. To make nice wave we have to pull two bubbles uh, through the loop of the third bubble. And um, we have to overlap ends of the two nearest bubbles over each other. It's easier to wave large size bubbles. And that is the reason why we have to make all bubbles soft. Now I'm going to make the last wave in this row. Fix all bubbles in proper positions. We can pull the ends of the bubbles in and out of the loops to adjust the size of waves to make it even. Ok, so far we made uh, the flower with two rows of petals. Here's the bottom view. And that's the top view. Our next step is to make the third row. We can actually use the mentioned uh, 
uh, Flower six six petals for the third row. It would take two balloons. I'm going to use just the one balloon to make three petals. Inflate the balloon leaving about three inch flat tail. Squeeze the balloon to make it very soft. Leave about one inch flat tail. Uh, the third row uh, looks the same as the second row. Size of bubbles is the only difference. We make bigger size bubbles for the third row than we use for the second row. We are going to use entire balloon to make three bubbles. Fold the balloon three times to find the size of bubble. Twist the chain of first two bubbles. The rest of the balloon is the third bubble. Make sure the third bubble is the same size as the first two bubbles. Lock the ends of the chain of the first two bubbles in one lock twist. Lock the free end of the third bubble between the first and the second bubble. Once again we have made the simple three fold hat. Now we lock all ends of all bubbles in one lock twist. You can make set of uh, three more petals in the same way. Lock them together to make six petals for the third row. I'm going to use just one set. Remember we need uh, a small soft bubble between each row. Twist the seventh soft about a quarter inch bubble of the first balloon. Now we lock the free end of the seventh bubble between bubbles of the second balloon. The rest of the first balloon is the eighth bubble. We can use the eighth bubble to attach the next fourth row of petals. Or we can use the eighth bubble as a stem or handle to hold the flower. Well, there is so much for possibilities. I'm going to cut off the eighth bubble and tie off the end. You can do it uh, with scissors or use your hands, whichever you're comfortable with. We have to attach uh, the stem to the flower before we wave uh, petals of the third row. I found it's um, hard to attach new balloon to already waved uh, flower. Waved bubbles have uh, a lot of pressure inside. Moving or just touching waved bubble increase chance of busting a bubble or two. So let's inflate a green balloon leaving about two inch flat tail. Lock the nozzle of the green balloon with the bubbles of the last, the third row of the flower. Now we can safely wave bubbles of the third row. Once again we're going to use the same waving technique as we used previously. This time it should be even easier to make because now we're waving larger size bubbles than before. In this instruction I use one color balloons to make this flower. You can use two or more colors to make one flower. In the beginning of this video I uh, mentioned that this video instruction is my answer on a question. How to make one very particular flower. I've seen just one picture of this flower. It would be much easier job if I have chance to see the sculpture from different sides of course. Or even better ask the original author of the sculpture. Unfortunately I don't know name of the author. I can only give you the link to the picture of the rose. I think to post uh, the uh, web address of the link in uh, comments to this video as well as I will post it on my blog of course. So if you happen to know the original author of this sculpture or you are the author don't be shy say it. I think the original sculpture was done in a different way than I show in this video. Basically I just trying to make a flower that looks 
less or more the same as the original. In future I will come back to this flower to show different ways to make it. But first uh, I want to find the uh, original artist, the author, to give him or her uh, the proper attributions. Ok, we have made the blossom. Now we use the green balloon to make the stem. Twist the first green about 5 inch bubble. Squeeze the balloon to make it soft. The next three bubbles we twist to make the leaves. Fold the balloon three times to find the size of the bubbles. Remember to leave about 5 inch bubble at the end of the balloon. Twist a chain of two soft about 11 inch bubbles. Lock both ends of the chain of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. Twist the fourth soft about 11 inch bubble. Lock the free end of the fourth green bubble between the second and the third green bubbles. Lock all ends of the last three bubbles in one lock twist. We have made three leaves. Fix all bubbles in proper positions. It looks good. We can make it even better. Just have to shape the leaves bubbles. Bend one leaf at a time. Just like that. Hold half of the leaf in one hand and bend it with another hand. Oops. Alright. Have to shape one more bubble. This one. Well done. Congratulations. We have made the flower. The flower looks better from this side. So this is gonna be the front of the flower when I put it in bouquet. Have fun and happy twisting.